the 2025 Jeep Wagoneer, not to be confused with the Grand Wagoneer. That's going to be a separate video. Here we're going to be talking about the latest updates for the regular Wagoneers and the L model. All right, let's get started. So we have some new standard equipment here. We get 20 inch wheels as standard along with active lane management and the adaptive cruise control. All three of these things do come standard for 2025 and the power folding mirrors are now available. And these same updates, they apply to the larger L model. And the main difference with the L is it's 12 inches longer than the standard wagon and the wheelbase is seven inches longer with the L model. And this translates into more space inside for the passengers and for the cargo. And we do have the official pricing here for the 2025 Wagoneers and the price has gone down by quite a bit compared to 2024 and these vehicles they come standard with rear wheel drive and if you want 4x4 that's going to be an additional $3,000 but the base rear wheel drive Wagoneer is going to start at $59,945 that's $3,000 less than last year and the series 2 and the series 3 models they cost over $5,000 less than last year so a substantial savings but make sure to add two thousand dollars to all the prices that you see on the screen for the destination now Stellantis they typically have some crazy high destination fees but it is what it is you do have to add that back in to the prices shown and starting with 2024 that's when Jeep got rid of the V8 engines so now these Wagoneers they are powered by a hurricane twin turbo inline six engine producing 420 horsepower and 468 pounds feet of torque which Stellantis claims is 15% more efficient than larger V8 engines and another highlight is the Wagoneer has a best-in-class towing capability of up to 10,000 pounds so if that's important to you well there you go but is this vehicle worth it I mean in this class almost everyone wants to choose the Tahoe and the Suburban those two SUVs, they are iconic. They are pretty much the dream full-size SUV for most families. Plus, it's easily the most prestigious, baller. It's got some swagger to it. I mean, this Jeep does look pretty good, but easily in this class, it's the Tahoe and the Suburban Twins that oozes charisma and swagger as it rolls down the road. But regardless, what many people are going to be thinking is, oh, what about the 2024 buyers? Well, yeah, this is what happens when certain manufacturers, they keep ramping up their MSRPs over the years and then they realize the stuff is not selling. Then they will cut back the price for a future model year. And that's exactly what Jeep has done now for the 2025. They're giving you more standard equipment for less money. But that doesn't exactly mean that the 2024 buyers are completely SOL. Well, I mean, it depends on how they bought it to begin with. If they bought this stuff right, which... I'm guessing not many people did, but let's just say, you know, a 2024 buyer really negotiated hard and they got a substantial amount of money off the MSRP and they took advantage of every single incentive out there. To be honest, it's not a big deal. And if they took advantage of some of the decent lease deals that were going on, then yeah, they really don't have much to worry about. But let's be real, most people are not doing that type of hardcore research and negotiations. But regardless, to help you out, I am going to be sharing with you a resource. It's a free leasing calculator provided to you by Auto Companion. This is a very powerful tool because it shows you the interest rate of a lease, the residual values, and the incentives that you can get in your local zip code. So whether you are financing, paying cash, or leasing, you should use this calculator to see those incentives because incentives always stack on top of the dealer discount and if you are genuinely interested in buying these vehicles you might want to consider looking into the 2024s why because dealerships should be motivated to get rid of those 2024 wagoneers from their lot so you should have more negotiation leverage and you should be able to score these vehicles under invoice and if you want to see the invoice pricing just go to a website like jd power but when I ran some numbers on a Series 2 2024 wagon with no money down, assuming a perfect credit, it's going to be about $1,000 a month. And I assumed a 10% dealer discount 
That's what the dealership offers. So on an $81,000 vehicle, that's eight grand off from the dealership. But when you use Auto Companion's calculator, you can see that there is a national dealer cash of $6,000. That would stack on top of the 10% discount so really you're getting like fourteen thousand dollars off the msrp and there's a bunch of other incentives here and that's why it's imperative that you use this calculator so you can see all these incentives so you know exactly what you can qualify for so you can get the maximum amount of money off of these products because that's the way stellantis designs this stuff they overinflate their msrps and then they act like they're giving you a big deal and a big discount with all of these incentives but if you don't know about this, you're just gonna be overpaying for every vehicle. But hey, if I were you, I would try to get as greedy as possible. Try to get 12, 15% off the MSRP. Dealerships are motivated to get rid of this stuff. And if you are gonna negotiate on your own, always try to go to that dealership's website and find the general manager's email and email the general manager directly with the numbers. Never go inside of a dealership to negotiate. Always finalize the numbers over email and only then should you step inside of the dealership. And in the past, people were able to negotiate and get these vehicles for like six, $700 a month. I'm obviously using a really well-equipped Series 2 vehicle here, but you can negotiate on the cheaper models, but the incentives are gonna change on those cheaper models as well. And lease programs, interest rates, incentives, all of these things, they do update every month, but Auto Companion's calculator will also update every month. And Auto Companion is also a car broker. He's one of the largest brokers in the United States. So if you want to buy a vehicle from him, you certainly can. He is located in the Washington, D.C. area, but he is able to ship nationwide if you're willing to pay for it. And he does charge a broker fee to access his deals, but if you sign up with my affiliate link in the description box below, he will take some money off of his broker fee. He does offer Stellantis deals, but he never advertises the Wagoneer, but I'm assuming he can at least do 10% off on that. And if you want a Chevy Suburban, he's got 9% off the MSRP of those. So yeah, I mainly just want to share with you these resources. Use them if you wish. It'll be linked below. If you found value with this content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.